Extra door. There's the office door. Cooler door. Uh, just got it done. Just finished the foam around the outside here. Uh, one step closer to having the cooler ready. So let's take a look on the inside. I've not foamed yet because I wanted that door there to be able to see, make sure I can get this closed and keep it the right temp. And so what I'm curious to see now is humidity is, I've got the sensor right there. Uh, that's a sensor push, love those things. Uh, the humidity in here was high. I mean like 75, 80%. I had moisture uh, collecting down in the corners uh, so I had a fan over here temporarily blowing in this area and it still wasn't enough uh, because the insect room for the mealworms has to be at 50% humidity and it's just coming this way and then it's hitting the very cold, cold uh, concrete and just all that moisture is condensing, right? Uh, so it's started to go away just with the room being closed up a little bit more uh, and with this dehumidifier in there. You can still see just a little bit in that corner. So I'm gonna let this run, what did I set it to? I got it set at 40%. So I'm gonna let it run and just see how this room does with the door closed uh, to see what the temperature uh, maintains. Uh, I think the door is good. Uh, I did have to, I did have to come in this way in order to get the door to close here. I don't like this, but uh, you know, Functional is better than pretty, uh, especially given all this other stuff. Um, so I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna turn the lights off behind me. Oh, and let me turn the, there. And so ideally we don't see any light. Uh, I did put, oh, there's a little, a little bit in the corner. I'll get one of those corner deals. I got some of those for doors. A little bit bigger opening at the top than the bottom, but again, there's a little bit of light there in the corner, but everything else is sealed really well. Come on. Yeah. And then there shouldn't be anything there. Ooh, what did I see there? Oh no, that's the hinge. Whew. Okay. All oh, that looks good. And again, down to the corner. So what I need to do is I will get some of those door corner things, whatever the heck they are, uh, to put in the corners, if necessary. I mean, it's not the end of the world, uh, but this opens, it latches, I think give it a little bit of time and we'll wear it in a little bit. And I found my sign! I've been looking for this thing! So this door was the original door back in the old building. Uh, much smaller building and so I kept the door because part of me is a hoarder and part of me is like this is a, still a good door uh, and I put that on it at some point and put it in storage and it's been hiding so I'm really excited about that um, very very excited uh, but we are now one step closer so now I need to get spray foam I have not heard from any spray foam people uh, my presumption is that this room is just too small for a job it's not worth it to come out here um, I, I understand. I completely understand. So I'm probably just going to order a kit, put on some gloves and junk clothes and my respirator and come in here and do this uh, myself. Um, there's really good information on the CoolBot website. So uh, if you haven't been following along, go watch the other videos in this series. Air conditioner is going to go there and it's going to be controlled by a CoolBot, uh, CoolBot Pro, which is actually in my office right now. Um, watch the previous videos to see the, the setup, uh, what I'm using it for, etc. But uh, that is not going to get spray foamed. That's where the AC uh, unit's going to go, and the cool bot will be nearby um, to make this room a nice cooler. Uh, so uh, we've got electric up there, and we'll get all that squared away. But we're just going to let this run overnight. It's 30 degrees outside, 24, 25, somewhere around there, high of 30. Um, but we'll see how the humidity does. This also generates heat. I mean, it's going it, to, it'll probably keep it warm in here. Uh, the other side of this is my office, which is at 52 degrees right now with the cool bot. So um, 
you know, should stay a, a decent temperature in here. But one step closer, uh, we might be ready to just put the air conditioner in and see how this thing rolls without insulation. Uh, but might as well do the insulation, right? Uh, but check out the Coolbot website. Um, the insulation I'm going to use, uh, both the, the uh, rigid foam here and then the uh, bat insulation on the ceiling, uh, as well as the spray foam I'm going to use, all that information uh, was, was gleaned from their website. Uh, they want to set you up for success. Uh, if you are interested in the Coolbot Pro to have your own walk-in cooler for whatever it is, I'm using mine for mealworms, use yours for uh, holding deer, uh, holding other things, whatever you've got going on. Um, use the link in the description. Uh, you'll get a $50 discount. I don't get anything off of that. So uh, it is an affiliate code. I had them give you the full discount. I don't get anything off of this. Uh, I did get the Coolbot Pro. They sent that to me uh, as you know compensation here um, because uh, I agreed to make some videos uh, on my own timeline. Uh, but I used all their resources from their website to help figure out the plan for this um, to make sure that it's going to be successful. So. Uh, pretty excited about that. I'll look at the spray foam again um, and probably order that pretty soon uh, and come in here and knock it out. So if you have any questions, let me know.